All right, let's take a look at this question. A man two meters tall walks away from a lamp post. So let's draw that lamp post whose light is five meters above the ground. Okay, and we'll make this our man. I'm not too fancy with my drawings. Um, stick figures all around. Okay, um, if he walks at a speed of 1.5 meters per second, at what rate is his shadow growing when he's 10 meters from the lamp post? So I'm going to draw a line coming down here because that would be the light hitting the top of his head and then his shadow would be created here. I'll do that in blue. So that's his shadow. Now things that stay the same we can label on our diagram. Anything that changes though has to be a variable. So his height, the man, two meters, will not change. So that can be labeled as two. Uh, the light five meters above the ground, that will not change either, so that can be labeled as five. However, the distance he is from the lamppost changes as he walks away from the lamppost. So I'm going to refer to that as x, because it does change. And then the they also refer to his shadow growing, so I'm just going to call that y. I would use s for shadow, but my s's look like five, so I won't do that. Okay. So we've got our variables on there. These are both right angles. Um, now we need to name those derivatives. So uh, it says if he walks at a speed of 1.5 meters per second. So 1.5 meters per second would be the rate at which the dimension of x changes. So that would be called dx dt. All right, and it's increasing because he's walking away from the lamppost, so that'd be a positive. Then they ask, at what rate is his shadow growing? So that's y changing. So dy dt is a question mark when he's 10 meters from the lamppost, so when x equals 10 meters. That's our moment in time, our snapshot in time, which we don't sub in or do anything with until we have the derivative. Okay, now, to figure out an equation, we have to look at what we have the derivative of. So we have the derivative of x with respect to t and y. So we need an equation that relates x and y to each other. So uh, if you look at those triangles, we would have similar triangles. We've got like our big triangle where the height is 5 and the length would be x plus y. And then we've got our little triangle where the height is 2 and the length on the bottom is y. So if we set up similar triangles, we would go, say, x plus y is to 5, so over 5, equals y over 2. Now, we could take the derivative, but let's simplify it first. Let's multiply both sides by 10, or cross-multiply, however you want to think of that. We'd have 2x plus 2y equals 5y. So basically, I just did this. Multiply by 2 and 5. The 2's cancel and then multiply by 2 and 5, and the 5's cancel, and then boop, boop. All right, good. Now, one more step. We could get the y's together, so we'd have 2x equals 3y. All right, this is good. If we do the derivative now, it will be nice and simple. Derivative of 2x would just be 2, but we're doing the derivative with respect to t's, so we have to multiply, using chain rule, by dx, the derivative of x, with respect to t, dt. Same thing on the right-hand side, derivative of 3y would be 3, and then again, times the derivative of y with respect to t. All right, now we sub in what we have. We know dx dt is 1.5, and we do not know dy dt, but that's okay. We're not really using our x equals 10, are we? Well, that just means it is a constant rate that the shadow is changing. Um, okay, so then we just isolate. 2 times 1.5 is going to be 3, and then we divide by 3, so dy dt should equal 1. What are the units? Look at the derivative for that. y over t. y is the unit of length, meters, over t time, which is seconds. And there we go. So the shadow would be growing, because it's positive, 1 meter per second, at a rate of one meter per second. And there we go. Alrighty, hope that helped.